the trust? No. no. We want our money? We no. want it? No. That was the chorus of the retired public officers who say they want the money they were promised while they're still alive to spend it. It's been over two decades since they had to sacrifice their increments, a move that led to them taking to the streets, much like they did today. But unlike then, today's protest was just to let the government know that they haven't forgotten the PM's promise to dissolve the fund. This has been a long-going struggle for many, many um, years. You know that this thing has been ongoing for the past 27 years. And um, the matter has gone to court. Um, but it's not quite resolved yet, and so we think there's no need for political action. We've done legal action, there's no need for political action. One, we want the trust to be dissolved, and we want speedy action. Can the government have said yes, they want to do it, but it's taking too long. I mean, it's the past three months and nothing's happened, that's why we're concerned. And even so, even whilst um, uh, this matter is taking, uh, you know, is, is, is taking place, the trust is still continuing to operate as normal. And so we fear that, um, in fact, if it continues the way it is, by the time the matter is resolved, uh, there will be no funds left in, 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 the, in the kitty to be able to pay any level of compensation to, to, to most of the, the, the deserving public officers who are beneficiaries. And they say the best time to dissolve the trust is now, when there is enough in it to ensure all beneficiaries get what they believe is just theirs. At this point in time, after 27 years, the trust has, has, has had sufficient funds to be able to pay uh, all the public officers who were affected by, by the thing. And so it, it really does not make sense to go through a project when in fact it, it, it has fulfilled its purpose of generating the funds to be able to pay for persons for, for, for what was lost. They prefer to, to sell it that way because it, it makes a good argument for them that in fact if we were to go for, tr for, 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 for cash, it would be a little amount. But the fact of the matter is this, that when, the trust, when this whole matter was set up, right, we have now been able to... to the, the fund is now at a point where uh, they can afford to pay each and every person what they actually lost. But to start the process, they say it must begin with new trustees and more transparency. The trust does not represent the beneficiaries, as you can see. We are out here, they are doing their own thing, basically. You know, they are really working on behalf of the unions. And the unions really, they have gotten their funds, they have gotten funds out of, out of the whole trust. They, they owe the trust millions of dollars. We need to have those things properly ventilated so we know exactly what's happening. We don't know what's happening right now at all, and we are the persons who actually suffer this loss. I think the unions have their own uh, designs on the, on, the, on the funds, I believe so. You know, in fact, they have gotten loans, which they have loaned to, other, to their members, and they are enjoying it. Um, and so that's really part of the reason why. And so we need to look at those funds because those funds are outstanding. What we want to see happen initially would be that the, 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 the trustees be recalled, new trustees be named to oversee the dissolution of the trust. And Enriquez warned that there will be more demonstrations if the government, as a settler, doesn't make moves to dissolve the trust. But before the tension could rise, the PM took a break from the budget debate to meet with the retirees on the stairs of the National Assembly. You guys can get your money. You need it to the don't retire. Yes, yes. You need the money. Yes, and, um, and, but unfortunately, it is in the courts. It's in the court of appeal. So that's why the government would have to wait until we don't finish that case. Now, what, the, what Minister Osha, the minister in charge of the public service, is telling me, that what we can do, we can send in an affidavit in support of what you um, are requesting. So, so we, we, can, we can do that. But unfortunately, we, can, we have to wait till, till the court case is done, no? So I just came out to tell you our government supports you. I don't want to die before I get my little bit of money. I really need my money. So, and I think all of us need it too. But I don't want to close these eyes because I want to use it myself. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Meanwhile, um, what are we supposed to do? These people are still spending the money. I understand. I don't know if there's anything. I will, I will, ask, the, um, I will ask the Attorney General. I will ask the Attorney General to see if there's anything that can be done on it for, for now. To, to put everything on pause, but I don't know. I'd have to find out. And the PM's words and a few handshakes and hugs placated the protesters for now. And he told us that he's on their side, but plans to get the entire story before spouting any speculation. It's simply because I'm from when I heard about what you were talking about, I really believe that it's their money, so they should get their money. Um, these people, they have uh, retired. Um, they're not making as much money, or if any, uh, when you're working. Um, and as you get older, you have more medical bills, and they need all the help that they can. And as one of the ladies said, you know, she wants her money, not when it dead, somebody else will get it. So it is only right that they get it. I am not 
causing any kind of aspersions against the trustees. I know nothing about what they're doing, but I will sit down and speak with the Attorney General to be able to see what can we done, if what kind of reports we can get to, to get a full accounting of whatever monies that have been spent. So with promises of meetings and discussions, the retirees left as peacefully as they arrived and now wait with their placards ready to see if the government will follow through. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.